All right, Salawam, all praises, you have by some, you have side by some, Rakaka Das. We're back with a part two, you know what I mean, with them rivers of living water. What is this, some ducks down there? They down there chilling, just chilling. What'd you say? It's like a preset because uh, you say you're supposed to be in that spirit of fighting. Not right? supposed to be in that spirit? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, of course, if somebody hits you, you know, of course, you can defend well, yourself. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That's why. But, you know, even if you can beat a motherfucker ass, you still, even like, just like. You're supposed to turn the other cheek. Yeah. That's where the turn the other cheek shit come and play. People think, yeah. like, if someone's killing you and chopping your wife and children up with a, chain, uh, with a chainsaw, you're supposed to just let them do it. Yeah. Damn. No. Turn the other cheek means like when we on the streets teaching, we're giving them the truth. They coming against us. They trying to start a fight. You can't get drawn into that. There's a proverb on that. Uh, uh, it's just that fucking. You don't want to burn, throw the coals on the fire or something. Uh, a, yes. a, a, a soft word or something. I mean, that's 15. But there's the other one that said, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I got to get it later. Oh, let me get it right now. It says the words, like you can blow on it. Yeah, Spit that's what I was it. thinking. That's a rock or something. There's one in the Proverbs, too. There's but, a bunch. Yeah, I think the one you talking about, the soft answer, I think that's... Oh, yeah, 15. soft answer, yeah. yeah. Let me get this real quick. Sirach 28 and 12. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to start at... Uh, shit. Damn, this is all good, really. Let's read it all. Let's get uh, it. Well, I'm going to start at eight. <laughs> okay. It says, a strain from strife. See, there you go. Strain yeah. from strife. Yeah, strain from strife. Because people, like I said, man, they're going to try to get you to fight. They're going to get up in your face. But you got you to gotta be the cool one. You got to be the level-headed one. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to just start, you know, hands just start flying. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the easy way to do it anyway. It's easy to knock somebody out. Yeah, hey, the spirit might have it. If, if, yeah, if you yeah. trying to, if you trying to, if you trying to be, what they call it? If, like okay. you said, yeah. If somebody come up and try to fuck with you, and you you being unspiritual, even if you can't beat this nigga's ass, you if you try to swing on this nigga, the spirit might have it. That nigga knock your ass out. That's happening to people actually. Yeah, that's that's that's. That's happening, to brothers. And he's just a little too acting a little too wild. Yeah, that's that's embarrassing. And somebody gonna come and call you know. Yeah. And that might be the Lord telling you, hey, buddy, slow down. Yeah, you gotta be salty, bro. You get, you get knocked out on camera, bro, you be feeling salty as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. Man. Fuck and that, that's the Lord. When the Lord embarrass you like that, that, that's a punishment, you know, for being carnally minded. Hey, but sometimes people can just punch you just for fucking, just being evil, though, and you just gotta take it. You got that, too, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessary because you was wicked. The apostles got killed. Mm -hmm. Killed. Yeah. The Lord got crucified. Yeah, Paul said he got beat. Yeah. People, people beating him and shit. Or actually, the precept I got said that people, or well, Yahweh shot him. I thought he got slapped. Yep. Yeah. People was making fun like, well, who, who slapped you? Prophesied. They always try to kill him and he dip up out of there. But it's, uh, it says, uh, and thou shalt diminish thy sins, for a furious man will kindle strife. A sinful man disquieteth friends and maketh debate among them that be at peace. Oh, see, make a debate among them that be at peace. Hey, mm -hmm. the people do that to us when we go, when be out there teaching. Mm -hmm. We be cool. We be out there teaching and have a we smile. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hitting scripture. Some asshole going to come out of nowhere, usually the goddamn woman. The woman to come out like, oh, no, y'all motherfuckers is evil. Y'all wicked. And you're like, oh, here, here it comes. And you already know. How we... That's why it's good that this lockdown happened. We ain't, mm -hmm. we ain't had to deal with that bullshit in like what? A minute. Mm -hmm. Most high shut these bitches up. Now most of these bitches are home, scared as fuck. So. To my Dorona. Yeah. It says, uh, as the matter of the fire is, so it burneth. And as a man's strength is, so is his wrath. And according to his riches, his anger resteth. And the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be aflame. Right, so the more you sit and argue with somebody, the worse it's going to get. Oh, going back, that's why you wanted to debate with people that you know you're never going to agree with, like Vocab Malone. 
Like, what's the point of even having a debate with that guy? It's, all you're going to do is yell at each other. It's going to get worse. You're going to start yelling. He's going to start yelling. You ain't got to worry about him beating us up, though. That's why I said first, second, admonition, reject. Yeah. Like, then they can try to come back. Right, yeah, after a couple things, if they can't get it, man, fuck them. Just to, like the elder Tahara said, you politely ask them to walk down the street. Yeah. And if they don't want to leave, shit, sometimes you might have to leave. Dust the feet. Oh, said so we had to do that one day with Humpty Dumpty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go watch the Humpty Dumpty video on this channel. Uh, this dude, he's trying, he's trying to fight us. This dude is crazy. But we could have fought him, but instead we just walked away. Drunk high. Yeah, he was drunk. He threw a four loco at you. So we was just like, fuck it. You, because he's, he thought that he won. But he ain't won. Fuck him. We just going to stay and fight the guy so they see who can have the block. Yeah. You know what I mean? What is this, King of the Hill or some shit? Right. Yeah. It says in a uh, 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 hasty contention for call, candle for fire and a hasty fighting shed of blood. Yeah, see, hasty fight. People, a lot of people, they quick to shed. Oh, what's that scripture? They quick to shed innocent blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, uh, they quick for violence. That's Jake, too. Two thirds of Israel wicked, bro. They quick to, for violence or fight. If they see a fight outside or at school, they, they on that bitch like a fucking a fly on a pile of dog shit. You know what I mean? It says, uh, if thou blow the spark, it will burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. And both these coming out of thy mouth. So, hey, so either you can talk and make the situation worse, or you can calm it down. Yeah, that's something I learned over the years, too, bro. Yeah. I used to be crazy when I was going out teaching. You know, we was in the spirit, though. Every time we, you know, but it takes time. You got to be mature. You can't be all wild and crazy. Like, even if you do go back on the street and somebody just arguing, yelling, I'm done. I'm not talking to that nigga. I'm just ignoring that nigga. I'm continue talking to the camera. Fuck that shit. But this is a time and a place because sometimes you just got to go off. Of, I mean, we ain't going to oh, hurt. Yeah, right. We ain't going to punch nobody, but hey. Yeah, you might have to cuss him out for a minute. The spirit of jump. My spirit might hit you. Yeah. For yeah, for two the most hours, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we ain't sitting there arguing and screaming with nobody for no two hours. Fuck all that. Yeah. You know, there's times when you have a shot, I got angry, pissed the fuck off, and it's like, he was, he was cussing on the whole, whole city, yeah. goddamn. Whole fucking city, so you know he was loud as fuck. Yep, so you got a voice of many waters. Yeah. But you say you got that. Proverbs. Oh, yeah. This is Proverbs 15 and 1. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Right, if somebody gets up in your face and be like, Oh, you a weak little bitch. And you, you're like, fuck you, you know what I mean? And you, instead, you coming back, you should come back with a scripture or something. Or something to calm it down, not to feed into that shit. Like, if somebody says, I'm going to beat your ass, and you come back, well, no, nah, I'm going to beat your ass, bitch, let's go. That ain't going to help, you know, you, you making shit worse. You're going to end up in jail by the time this thing's done. <laughs> That's why it's something we had to learn, too, you know. When that shit start getting crazy, just stay to the scriptures. If you stay in the scriptures, they end up leaving. Now, that's a tip for y'all young brothers out there. I want to continue on this. The tongue of the wise uses uses knowledge all right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. That's these people. They ain't nothing but foolishness coming out of their mouth. Two thirds. I want to continue. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverse and staring is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regards proof, reproof is prudent. That's some good scripture, though. Well, go ahead. What you got? This is uh, 1 Peter 2, and uh, uh, we started at... Uh, I'm just going to start at uh, 19, but the point's a little down lower. It says, But this is thankworthy if a man for conscious, uh, for conscious towards God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it when ye be buffeted for your faults? Yeah, we get suffered wrongfully a lot, you know. So I got arrested teaching the Bible before. You know, some shit might happen. You, you might get suffered. People accuse you of being family members. Oh, he's wicked. He's evil. Oh, he's a terrorist. He's an extremist. They think you Al-Qaeda. 
That was the thing back in the day. People, I had people in my family, you know, whatever, calling me Al Qaeda and shit. The fuck yo, yo Al Qaeda motherfucker. You know the thing, you Muslim, you Muslim, you Muslim. Yeah. Well, everybody used to always ask that man. You gonna shut your ass up? That's funny. My cousin was making fun of me. Oh, you Muslim? Now this nigga gonna be a Muslim. Yeah, it's like yeah. It's oh, like, so what? now he a Muslim. It's like, man, Ain't that a bitch? Like, how you gonna make fun of me? For, for, for religion, now you about to go into it. I don't know no damn sense. We ain't no goddamn, like Easy e said. He was like, Easy e ain't no motherfucking Muslim. It's like, sorry. Yeah. That shit don't sound right. I'm a Muslim. Fuck out of here. Muslim. Well, actually, where's the word Muslim? We actually are Muslims. Yeah. If you want to get technical by the definition of the word. Does the word, what does a Muslim mean? Doesn't mean like. Uh, submit to God or something? Yeah, to submit, don't it? Yeah. Or Islam means to submit, don't it? Yeah. Let me look it up. 